So we've got a dog coming over here today that we're gonna meet and just kind of get to know. The dog's name is Jersey. He's a pit bull or pit bull mix. Not exactly sure, I've never met the dog. And hopefully we're gonna get some training done. I'm just gonna do some freestyle training and see how it goes. A little bit of a different video. Click thumbs up for another video. Subscribe to my channel. And this episode is brought to you by our amazing patrons on Patreon. If you guys want to help our dog training content, you can join our Patreon community too. Apparently he's a big jumper. That'll always be fun. You know how much I like high energy dogs. He knows some basics like sit down, shake, and some other stuff. So that'll be exciting. His energy level is only a seven, but they say he's very excited and jumps a lot. So that's interesting. I guess he probably gets excited for short periods of time. It's probably like a level two out of three dog. So this is Jersey the dog. I'm doing some treat training with him right now just to see how he is. Oh, it looks like he wants to roll over. Let's see. Will you roll over? Let's see. Luke will take a step back since we're in a new environment. There we go. All right, nice work, Jersey. You're so good. Leave it alone. Oh, I didn't even ask for shake. Look at this, is it? Fine, I'll take shake. Yes. Can you sit pretty? <laughs> nice work. All right, excellent, sit. Oh boy. Good, leave it. Look at me. Yes, got a glance there. You know, leave it, look at me combo. I like to try that with every dog. I like to see if I can get their attention on me when there's a treat right in front of them. Training isn't much good if they won't listen to you because they're so focused on a treat, you know? So he feels like kind of a level two dog, as I suspected, you know, a little energetic, but not hyper all the time. He's named after a cow, I think that's cute. What cow? A Jersey cow. What's a Jersey cow? It's a breed of cow, the kind with spots. We have a hoop here and we're gonna see if Jersey can jump through it. Teaching your dog to like jump over a bar or something, you know, like an agility jump is actually a lot easier than teaching them how to jump through a hoop. Because with a hoop, you can see it's not just one area down here. They have to avoid hitting the top. And that can really make a lot of dogs uneasy about jumping through a hoop. So that's why it's important to start really slow and not try to take steps that are too big when you're teaching this. Jersey's really comfortable going through the hoop. Many dogs might be nervous of something like this. I'm gonna have to get one more here. There we go. Look at that, and look, stepped over it. That's perfect. You wanna step over it again? It's off the ground, good. Nice work, go ahead, nice job. Let me see if I can get him to do a running start. Sit, stay, stay, hoop. Look at that, pretty good, pretty good. Hoop, yeah, good job. Hoop, yes, nice. oh, that was awesome, that was great. The bottom line, when you're teaching your dog how to jump through a hoop, start really small, gradually increase the height of the hoop. And if you start noticing your dog is refusing or not really enjoying it so much, take a step back and continue to make it easier and don't rush it. That goes, that goes for everything in dog training though. Come on. Oh, that's a hug. Wow, you're so strong. That was the start of a hug. What do you think about doing a video on how to teach your dog to hug? Or we could just teach it right now. How about that? If you were gonna teach your dog how to hug you, there's a couple of ways to do this. You could, you know, whoa. Push. First, get a smaller dog, that might help. We got a treat and I'm gonna encourage Jersey to just kind of put his paws on me. And if you're worried about your dog becoming a bad jumper because of this, I wouldn't worry too much about it because dogs understand context and anything with permission is okay. It's when they jump without permission you gotta watch. Oh. All right, I haven't taught a dog to hug in a while here. All right, I'm gonna give Jersey a little bit of assistance by putting his arm here. Good job. Now, let's say you wanted to teach your dog how to give you a hug from behind. Your dog will need to know how to do a pretty, you know, a moderately advanced stay because you have to have them do a sit, stay. Okay. Sit, stay, and you gotta be able to turn your back on them. Stay. Up. Sit, stay. See, even when you ask your dog to stay and then you turn your back on them, that can make it way more challenging for a lot of dogs. <laughs> Look at that. How about that? Is, that? is that what you're going for? Close, yeah. I'm going to lure Jersey up this way now. And then just almost. Fine, I'll reward that because he tried. Sit. Stay. All right. Oh, look at that. Oh, wow, we got lucky there. That was awesome. And really, it's just a matter of luring them up and getting them to stay. I'm going to encourage him to stay by rapid firing some treats up there. Oh, almost, but you get the point there. That's how you teach your dog to give you a hug. Whoa. Let go. 
You're gonna make it boring. Good, leave it. Leave it alone. Wait. Okay, get it. Good. Over here. Stay. Get it. Yeah, that was a good one. Awesome. Love it. Okay, drop it. Yes, good boy. And go. Go and go. Yeah, nice. Come on. Let's go. Come on, let's go. Drop it. Good and go. Good job. And go. Nice try. What a great dog. Yeah. Whoa. Wow. Yeah. Oh, Good boy, great. Jersey. Good. Get it, get it, get it. If you think Jersey did a great job, give him a thumbs up. Make sure you're subscribed to my channel. And thank you so much to our patrons on Patreon. If you become a patron on our crowdfunding campaign on Patreon, I'll send you a signed Frisbee. It'll be in better condition than this, though.